All right, this video we're going to look at factoring with WX Maxima. Uh, I probably won't, well, I mean, I guess we can work all of them just to show you how it will factor all of these different ones. Uh, so if you want to write these down, you can. I'm not going to flip back to them when I get into Maxima, but we'll factor these. So let's go over here to WX Maxima and start factoring them. All right, so <clears throat> to factor, well, it's actually pretty easy. You just type in factor and whatever expression you want to factor. So the first one was uh, x squared plus 6x. Now, look at this. You see how I typed in the 6x? If you do that, and let me show you, it's not going to work. Okay, a syntax error. You have to put times there. You have to put the multiplication. And then you hit it, and it factors. Okay, well, let's look at the next one. We want to factor, and then we have 8 times x squared minus 10 times x minus 3. And even on the 8x squared, you have to put the times in there. Hit enter, and it factors it out. Okay. So let's look at the next one. The next one was, uh, it had four terms in there. So that was x cubed plus 4 times x squared plus 3 times x plus 3 times x plus 12. Hit enter. Now if you were doing this one by hand, do you know what you would do? You would do factor by grouping. Okay, see, Maxima will do that. Uh, the next one, it'll, and it will factor this, x to the fourth minus 81. This one actually after you factored this difference of two squares there would still be a part that could still be factored. And watch WX Maxima will do it. See when you factor this you would get x squared minus 9 times x, x squared plus 9 and it even goes ahead and factors the x squared minus 9 here. Okay, And yes it will factor the difference of two cubes. Uh, let's see, we got what, 64 times x cubed uh, minus 125. And there it is, factoring the difference of two squares. And, and I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but if you're, if you forget your formula, Remember, sum and difference of two cubes factoring? Well, just type it in, hit enter, and yeah, it, it does this, uh, but I would take the negative, distribute that back, and you would get A, a minus B. Okay. All right. So, and then let's factor the last one. This one, the last one actually has a greatest common factor. Let's see if it'll factor that greatest common factor out and then finish factoring. So we get 2 uh, times x cubed plus 8x squared plus 8 times x squared plus 8x plus 8 times x. And let's see what we get. Yep. See, it factored out a greatest common factor of 2x. There's that. And then, evidently, what was left over was a perfect square trinomial. All right, so that's how uh, WX Maxima can factor. It's, I mean, it's nothing to it. It's just, you know, knowing the command. Factor and then type in what you need to factor. All right, so I hope this helped. Uh, I'll be doing more videos on WX Maxima, hopefully working my way through 
uh, trig, calculus, differential equations, and even do some statistics with it. Uh, but you know, with, check out the check out my channel uh, and look at the just look at the WX Maxima playlist, and I will be adding videos to it. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.